this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a I'm calling it a pinwheel box because of the top of it but look how cute this box is a really good size box this is a great small gift box but it's also perfect for treats and it measures four and a quarter by three by four and a half so it's a really good size box and I couldn't decide which paper I wanted to use on this. I'm using the same um, designer series paper, the Sweet Siri. And I couldn't decide whether I wanted to use this one or if I wanted to use this blue. This is Marie and Mist. I'm going to change it up and I'm not going to use this, but I'm going to use this side because when I started to cut it, I fell in love with this this side of the paper so this time I am going to change it up I'm not going to emboss I embossed this little frame which is from the charming cafe I love this set I'm gonna be doing a card here pretty soon with this because it's super pretty and I'm using this frame here I love it just for that frame but I also love these little the little chairs here and I love the writing and sentiment it's really cute but I embossed this with our silver emboss and then I stamped this with Calypso Coral and I also backed it with a piece of our silver foil so I don't know if you can see that it's really really pretty in real life so but I'm gonna change it this time and I'm not gonna emboss I'm gonna make this a little quicker because the box is a little bit more involved actually it's really simple to do but because we're using our framelits again and I'm using the box framelit and also these are the lots of lots to love box framelits and it's this box right here and I'm just altering it and to make this box but I love it and if I haven't convinced you yet to that you need this <laughs> um, framelit set I don't know what I need to do because there are so many you can go back in my YouTube if you haven't seen the other videos and the other different boxes I created with this but there's so much you can do with this I mean even after you um, you do this one you can cut like this heart out of the center and um, put a window in it there's so many options but this box framelit right here is worth its weight in gold to me <laughs> I love it so I'm using this one and then I'm also using the framelits that coordinate with this one and it is called the cafe builder and this is the framelit I'm gonna use this framelit here to cut that little um, it's not a window uh, the little frame out all right so let's get started we need to do a bunch of cutting we are going to cut four of these out I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it here and this time I'm using the flirty flamingo and actually they say this is powder pink but I'm going to use it up against I thought the flirty flamingo looked pretty behind it so I am using this designer series paper, the Sweet Sorry, but I'm using the opposite side, but it would, it would be pretty with this side too, because look how that coordinates. Really pretty. So you need four of these that are the matte pieces, and these are four by two and three quarters. So you need four of those, and you also are going to need four pieces of the flirty flamingo flamingo and these are seven and three quarters by four and a half and that is to cut all of these out with and we're going to cut four of those and so we're doing a bunch of big shot work here but I love the big shot and then just a piece of for the sentiment a piece of whisper white for the sentiment okay so let's get started here and bring up the big shot because we need this first and I'm going to explain to you how to do this. So you, best to use a magnetic platform. You don't have to, but it helps hold this in place perfectly. So we're going to set our cardstock down. We're going to put this right at the top edge. So all our pieces are going to be the same. 
and to cut it you're going to use your top mat you're going to put it in here and you are going to line it up in the middle of this little hole here I don't know if you can see these little holes there's a four of them on the side here this very last hole you want to line your um, plate right in the center of that so make it both in the center and then we're going to just run it through really easy just remember to line it up so we have one right here we're going to just leave it like this for now show you the next step and then I'm going to show you again so again put it right at the top you see how it grabs it this magnetic platform I love the magnetic platform then you're going to put this in you're going to line this edge again right in the center of those two little holes and we're going to run it through we're going to do it to all four pieces so there's our second one okay so we have our last piece here so we have four of them now let's just get the big shot out of the way right now we'll have to bring it back up for our little frame that we're going to create and I'm going to show you what you need to do to each one of these all right so for this to get rid of this little part here you are going to just cut it off and cut it all the way to that first score line that you see right here can, can you see that so you're gonna create a tab right there do the same thing on this side just like that and we're gonna cut these little flaps right here off you don't need those and we're gonna do that to each piece so we're cutting this off but you're going to go straight across to create that little flap and then do the same on this side and then we're going to cut these little ones off here and there's two We have all our pieces and you see where this little flap is where we cut right here we are going to bring our scoring tool up right now we're going to set these we're going to score the bottom so we need to put this edge at the five and three quarter inch mark so line it up here's the five and three quarters you're going to line that right up to the edge and we're going to score it across. So it's going to score right across from where you just cut. So we're going to do that on all of these pieces. Five and three quarters. Make sure that you have it lined up. What I'm using as a guide is this edge right here and I'm putting it up against here you just want to make sure your score line is straight and then one more five and three quarters okay so we have them all scored so you're seeing where I'm getting at right this is going to be our bottom flap so now what we're gonna do is you're just gonna cut in to that corner just like that and cut into that corner so you are creating the bottom here these are our two side flaps that's our bottom flap and then this one is our top you just want to fold that over on the second score mark there okay so this one we're gonna do the same you're gonna cut the bottoms
I'm going to do the same on here. And you, it doesn't have to be even or perfect because these are the bottom flaps. Okay, so we have all the bottoms flat. Well, let's sharpen all these score marks and we're ready to put it together. See, that wasn't difficult at all, was it? Now we're ready to put them all together. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tear and tape for this because I want this box to stay together. So use a really strong double adhesive and run tear and tape along the sides of two of these. The hardest part about my the tear on tape that I struggle with is getting the backings off. But we're going to use this this time. All right, so you're going to take the backing off one the one here. And you're going to line this one up. And the best way I found to do it is to line this edge up. So just take it, line the edges up here. And you have one part together. Make sure you crease them really good. And then you're going to take the backing off of this one. And we're going to add the next one. Make sure your tops are all on the top. I'm going to turn it this way. And then you got three attached there. And then we're going to take the backing from one of these. Add that. And try to make sure they're exactly lined up so it, it works good. All right, and then we're going to take the backing off of this one. And this one is the hardest, but it's not that hard because what I do is I get one end lined up. See if I can get that lined up and then I go to the other side and then put your hand this box is big enough you could stick your hands in there and then just crease it there so there it is let's put our bottoms together grab some fast fuse make sure your box is nice and square And put your hand in there and put your little bone folder in there. And then all you're going to do with this is you are just going to fold these all in and alternate them. So it closes like that. Then what, I'm, what I did was I just kind of bent these up with my fingers. Just go around and it just looks super pretty. So is that not pretty? All right, so let's go ahead and mat it. You can mat it before if you like, but like I said, I usually mat it after when it's something like this. And this is really thick. So I'm using fast fuse.
this paper is super pretty both sides of this paper that's why I could not decide I love the foiled look on here but I thought I'd give you an option and I really like this side of the paper too So look at how pretty that is. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab my piece of, I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo, and we're just going to stamp the little frame here. And the best thing to do is we're going to first stamp the sentiment. I found that this way I can line up my image around the frame around the sentiment. So just do that. It says I'm lucky to have a friend like you and it's so pretty. And this flower is, for, this little butterfly here is from Hold On To Hope. This is the one I made the last card I did on. Um, it's really a pretty, the floating cross. And I just do put that added that little butterfly. I just thought it was so cute. All right, so we got this inked up already. I'm gonna make sure I got it really inked up. Now you can line up your frame around there. Look how pretty that is. This this is super pretty. Look at that. All right, so we're ready to run that through the big shot. So let me grab the big shot again. And again, my magnetic platform, and then I need that little framelit for that. And we're going to run that through. Oops, I want to make sure that's even. There we go. And we have our frame cut out. Look how pretty that is. It's super pretty. I love it. All right. Next thing. Oh, you know what I wanted to do too? I wanted to put, put a background on this one too. So I need to cut another. I need another frame. But I'm going to use the flirty flamingo. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run this through. And I'll show you how I'm going to create a little frame for it. Oh, got it on the wrong side. It's okay. Just bear with my arm in the way. All right. Now we're ready. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm cutting it in half. And we're going to put some fast fuse. I'm going to line that up, put some fast fuse on here. I'm going to line that up just so a little bit peeks through. And then we're going to do the same with this one. Just enough so it peeks through. See, look at that. Isn't that pretty? All right, let's grab some dimensionals. I'm going to put this on with dimensionals. I think I'll use four. Let's bring our box back in. Pick which side you want the side going back, either this one or that one. And then 
let's use this side we're going to set that right there in the center and then I'm going to use this I think I'm going to use this striped ribbon I'm just going to make a bow I'm just going to create a little bow I'm going to use a glue dot or two and I'm going to put that right here I'm really liking this one y'all I love the color And last but not least, I'm going to use one of my little enamel shapes. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. I put it on here on the last one, but it doesn't work on this one. But do I need it? Yay or nay? I wish you I was doing this live so <laughs> you could give me no I'm not gonna use it <laughs> if I was doing it live I'd be asking which by the way I'm going to be starting doing live very soon I'm getting all my stuff ready to do it so that's it everyone here's the other one this one is all embossed and everything which one do you like better I really am leaning towards this one right now. I'm really feeling this one. <laughs> so if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop right from my blog. And you really, these framelit, it's the lots, lots of love box framelit that I'm using again. And I think this is like the fourth, the yeah, lots to love box framelits. This is like the fourth project I think I've done using this framelit. So look how cute. I love it. All right, everyone. I hope you all have a blessed day. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and press the little bell if you want to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you later. Bye.